What's up guys? Oddman105 here. And in this video, we'll be examining the best possible locations to purchase an arcade property. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned, in this video, we'll be examining the best possible locations to purchase an arcade property. Now, as you guys are aware, all arcade properties are 40% off this week. Now, unfortunately, that does not include any arcade renovations and modifications, nor does it include the purchase of any arcade consoles. And we'll discuss that here later on in the video. However, in order to conduct or host the Diamond Casino Heist, you must own an arcade property, okay? That is a prerequisite. So, when you're ready to purchase a nightclub property, simply whip out your trusty cell phone or go to any computer, go to Maze Bank Foreclosure, and search under arcades right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So, as you guys can see, there are a total of six arcades throughout the entire map. Now, I say this in every buying guide and tutorial video, you know, Purchase whatever property you want, purchase it anywhere you want, play the game the way that you want to play it, okay? However, it is never a good idea to purchase any property that's this far north on the map, anything north of the Alamo Sea. And that's because, especially as a solo player, purchasing properties this far north will make delivery missions and recovery missions for property, uh, heist equipment, etc. extremely difficult. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, these are the cheapest properties, so if this is all that you can afford, then so be it. And if you're playing with friends, of course, then it's not that difficult. However, just remember, this far north of the map will make delivery missions for your heists very difficult, okay? So, as you guys can see, I've purchased the Polito Bay property here for my arcade, and that's because I've always wanted property in Polito Bay, so that's why I picked this one up, and I don't plan on ever completing the Diamond Casino Heist, so that's why I picked this one up, simply because I wanted an arcade and I needed the garage space, so that's why I did this one. However, if you intended to complete the Diamond Casino Heist, you want to purchase property or an arcade that's in the city here, any one of these four, okay? So. You also don't want to go too far south, but anything in the city, since the Diamond Casino is located here on the map, anything in the city should be just about okay. As you can see, you've got the Davis Arcade at 1.28 mil. And remember, everything's 40% off this week. You've got La Mesa at 1.125 mil. Vinewood, of course, being the most expensive, one of the most expensive. That is 1.5 mil. And you've got Rockford Hills at 1.4 mil. Now, of course, if we take a look at the cheap properties, because I've already purchased this one, it won't show a price, but this is the absolute cheapest arcade in the game. And that's because it's at the far most uh, northern point on the map. Okay, here at Grapeseed, it's 939,000, just under a mil. So, Buy the property that you can afford if you intend to do the Diamond Casino Heist, that is. Just be mindful that this may make your missions difficult, simply because they're too far north on the map. Okay, so let's just take a look at an average property here in the city. And let's say you're going to buy this one. Now remember, all customizations are not on sale. That's customizations and renovations. These are standard price. Okay, you picked it, the design that you want for your arcade. It doesn't matter which, this is just uh, according to your taste, okay? You don't need any of these extras to complete the Diamond Casino Heist, except for the garage. You must have a garage with your property, and as you can see, it's already pre-selected. Everything else is all customization, and of course, this is to your design and liking. So, murals, floor design, neon art I mean come on it's an arcade so you got to deck this thing out and afterwards we'll take a look at my arcade you guys will see what I picked and of course you've got extras personal quarters I recommend that if you're going to complete the diamond casino heist you select the personal quarters and you know put a high score screen in your arcade as well you know you might as well do that it makes it look more like an arcade okay so 
And at the end of the day, once you pick the choices that you want, you click buy, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to buy this since I already have it on Cade, so let's back out. Now let's go take a look at my arcade. This is my office here, or your office as well. This is what your office will look like. Now, the arcade interiors are slightly different, so yours may look different than this one. Here is the wall safe, okay? Now, as with any business in GTA 5 Online, you've got a legal side and an illegal side. The whole front for the Diamond Casino heist is the arcade, and the arcade will make money. Every uh, three or four in-game days or so, your arcade will earn $100,000, which you can collect and add that to your pocket. Now, this is based on the number of arcade consoles you have in your arcade. So let's go take a look here. Let's walk out. This is my arcade. Pure 80s vibes in here, and that's because I'm a kid from the 70s and 80s. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I have almost all of the consoles available for the arcade property, and that is designed to max out the passive income that your arcade will make for the legal side of the business. Okay. Again, the more consoles you have, the more passive income you earn, up to $100,000 for the wall safe. And just in case you guys were wondering what happened to Michael DeSantis' son, Jimmy, Well, she just pushed me out of the way. Oh, she's thick, though. Nice. Excuse me. He's right here on the floor of my arcade. He works for me, believe it or not. So we know that Jimmy survives story mode, and he works for us in online now. So I'm pretty sure he'll be making a reappearance in the next DLC, the next major DLC. Um, what's wrong with her phone? You guys see this? Hold on a minute. <laughs> wow, that has got to hurt. Rockstar logic. Okay. Let's move on. Let's talk about the consoles in the arcade. And there's also one major piece of equipment that's in the basement that you guys are going to want to take a look at. So let's sit down and access this laptop. Pixel Emporium. Nice. So, take a look at the arcade games first. And as you can see, I own most of them. But these consoles are not cheap. If you take a look here, 410,000, 369,000, 385,000. That's roughly what the going cost of all the consoles are. Now, I bought my consoles on sale, okay? Which is why I own most of it. Those are the only three, as a matter of fact, I think, that are outstanding. So once these three consoles go on sale, I'll purchase these as well. But remember, only the arcade properties are on sale this week. None of the consoles, none of the arcade renovations and modifications are on sale. Now, upgrades to your arcade. This is the master control terminal. And we'll go downstairs and take a look at this in a minute. But this right here will allow you to consolidate and manage every business in the game at one terminal here in the arcade. And this is also one of the reasons why you, you want to have an arcade property in the city which is closest to your businesses. This is a drone station. And uh, this gives you access to drones or nano drones in free mode that you can pull out of your uh, interaction menu. Extremely hilarious troll weapon right here. You guys need to get this as well. Now this right here, this is the master control terminal. And this is an expensive piece of equipment. It literally costs like 1.5 mil or something like that. And uh, you can control and manage any one of your businesses from this terminal, provided you own that business. So you can re source, you can resupply, and I believe you can also sell from this master control terminal here. But again, this is not a cheap piece of equipment. This is very expensive. And of course, you've got your planning room down here for the Diamond Casino Heist on the other side of this board. This is where all the planning, scoping out, and the finale will take place, right here. Behind this wall is your sleeping quarters. You have a gun locker and some place where you can change your clothes. 
There's also a 10 car parking uh, garage down here as well, which is mandatory for storing heist vehicles. And these are the nano drone stations right here. Again, very useful, especially during the Diamond Casino heist. You'll want to have these. All right. Okay, so this is my arcade out here in Polito Bay. And again, I don't recommend that anyone purchase an arcade this far north or any property this far north on the map. But if you're interested, this is the cheapest arcade property in the game. And maybe it'll work for you. So we're located right here on the map. Okay, and again, we're farthest north, so if you buy this property, good luck. Okay, so we're here at the Grapeseed Arcade, located right here on the map. And again, this area is also far north, and it's north of the Alamo Sea, so this could make prep missions for your heist difficult. But something to keep in mind, this is also one of the cheapest arcades to own. So you've got your main entrance right there, of course. Deliveries for equipment and, and heists uh, preparations are probably going to be somewhere here around the back. Okay, this is the Vinewood location for the arcade. Right here on the map. And as you can see, you've got access to all the main roads. So this is by far one of the best locations, but this is also the most expensive. Deliveries for heist prep, excuse me, probably right here in this area here. Okay, here's the Rockford Hills Arcade. Located right here on the map. Again, it's on the west side of the map, but again, you also have access to the main road and you've got access to an expressway not too far from uh, the arcade location. Oh. Did you forget Shut about up, Simeon. Simeon. So again, this is one of the better locations for the arcade property, but this is also the second most expensive location in terms of initial cost. Deliveries for your arcade property will take place somewhere around here. Or perhaps even in the back area here. Yep, probably right here in the back. Okay, so we're here at La Mesa. And we're located right here on the map. As you guys can see, this location is also one of the best locations for an arcade property. In terms of heist prep delivery, we're on a main road and we've got access to the main expressways. Yo, holla at me. Deliveries for heist prep equipment will take place somewhere around here in the bag. Just look for the yellow Corona ring. But, but in terms of best location, this is one of the best locations for the Diamond Casino heist prep. And it's also close to the Diamond Casino as well. Okay, so we're here at the Davis Arcade. Oh, Simeon, shut up. Located right here at this corner on the map. Again, not a bad location. You've got access to the main roads and you've got access to the expressways right here. It is a little removed from the Diamond Casino located here. Nevertheless, this is one of the cheaper locations. Not the cheapest, but one of the cheaper locations for an arcade property. However, one of the main problems with the Davis location is that it's near Grove Street and this area is prone to gang attacks. So just something to keep in mind. Now, deliveries for heist prep equipment will take place right around here in the back of the building. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's all six arcade locations on the map. Now, let's take a look at what I consider to be the best locations for your arcade. Okay, so this is going to be relatively easy. First and foremost, again, don't purchase anything that's north of the Alamo Sea, so that's going to eliminate both the Polito Bay and 
the Grapeseed Arcades. Now, here in the city, the most expensive arcade is not necessarily the best. So, based on cost alone, the Vinewood location, we can eliminate this one because it's 1.5 mil. And the reason that I say that is because my top pick is going to be the La Mesa Arcade at 1.125 mil. This is one of the cheaper locations in the city and it's also the closest to the Diamond Casino right here in this area. So this is my number one pick. My number two pick would then be uh, the Vinewood location with Rockford Hills being number three and last but not least the Davis location being number four. Okay. Now, in theory, you can't go wrong with any one of the arcades located in the city, but based on cost and distance from the Diamond Casino, the La Mesa Arcade is my top pick. This is your best choice for an arcade property. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Now, again, buy the property that you want based on the amount of money that you have. But again, these are subjective and these are my picks for the best locations for arcade properties. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.